Welcome back to Trends and Friends, everyone. It's pretty hot out here right now, so we came to visit Frios. And these are the two owners. I have Chance and Alexa here with me. Tell us a little bit about Frios because now you all are on the move. We are on the go. We went mobile as soon as COVID hit. Uh, it was kind of an accident. We didn't have our lease renewed, so as soon as we bought it, we decided to go mobile, and it's been a hit so far. And I know you've come a long journey since then. So has anything changed about Frios? Maybe those who visited you visited you at your like brick and mortar and now are barely seeing you as a on the go? Well, we try to venture out with different food trucks for different events. We try to do as many fundraisers or, you know, if somebody needs a, a benefit, we try to hit and touch those kind of events. So this weekend we have a pretty busy schedule. Alexa can tell you more about that. Yeah. We're doing a give back um, this evening for Delta Gamma. Uh, we're visiting Moody Neuro to do a appreciation event with them. Um, tomorrow we've got the Cook's Garage Car Show and then Sunday we've got our big Food Trucks for a Cause give back event at Aldersgate Church. Our wholesale accounts are with Two Docs. They're one of our biggest accounts. Um, it's always great to have a beer and have a popsicle on the patio. We just got into Thirsties on Milwaukee. Um, Kirby's also just added us as a wholesale account. During the summer, you'll see us at the Falls, out at Ransom Canyon, and lots of other locations around Lubbock. So grab one of those wholesale coolers and make Frios a part of your summer. They're fun, all natural, and no sugar. So thank you for including us here. So on my way out here to you all, I was kind of excited because I love ice cream. I will eat ice cream in the snow if it needs to be. So tell me a little bit about what Frios offers. Frio's has all natural ingredients and tell us more. <laughs> the ice cream popsicles are made with um, fresh milk and the fresh fruit popsicles are just made with fresh fruits, natural sweeteners, no preservatives, so it's all really good ingredients. And since you all became on the go, what made you all just continue the Frio's that it is? We just wanted to reach out to a bigger customer base. We see more opportunity as being able to go to people who want to do events and stuff and it's always nice to pair it with the food truck community. We've seen that there's such a big turnout when food trucks do big events like food trucks for a cause and we love being a part of it. That's right. So not only can people find you out at the car show and food trucks for a cause all this weekend, they can come out and grab a popsicle, but where else can they find you or maybe book you for events? Look for us on our uh, Facebook page or Instagram page. Reach out to us on there or on our website, friospops.com. Um, give us the call, send us an email, whatever. Um, also, you can follow us on Food Roamer. They have a free app. Whoa. And now, I want to also add that we do wholesale freezers. So if you have some kind of store or you want to do a fundraiser for a weekend, we will provide you with a freezer wow. that will accommodate many popsicles and we it's, it's great for little league events, uh, baseball tournaments, quinceaneras, whatever, whatever you want. We can we can make it happen where customers also make money and it benefits them as well. I agree. That is an awesome, you know, contribute that you all do here. I did not know you did that for maybe like a ice cream junkie like me. I would maybe just buy a whole bunch to keep it in my freezer. But thank you so much for allowing us to come out and just kind of visit Frios on the go. And we hope that people come out and you all have a big event because who doesn't love ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> and don't go anywhere just yet because we'll be back with more Trends and Friends.